Robots are getting very common in industry, warehouses, restaurants. If you see a robot from a mechanical perspective, you can see a moving physical machine with the body. Now this body comes from an idea to feasibility check, 3D model and then manufacturing. In this video, we are going to be exploring how we can design and 3D print our robots for our application using a 3D printer. Hi, it would be great if you can start by answering how did 3D printing robots help you in learning robotics? So for me, 3D printing for robots started with understanding of mathematical concepts on our robot kinematics and motion equations by changing the body of my robot and understanding the rigid body interactions. Then control systems. When I wanted to apply PID on a line following robot, I had to test a lot of locations for the IR sensors to find out the best approach to follow the line. And in that try for understanding and bridging and creating the link between the box and the real world, 3D printed robot did the job. But it is not just about learning some concepts through making changes in the body, it's about aesthetics and organizing things as well. Have you ever had a messy room or workspace? It can be hard to focus and be creative because everything is scattered around. We can organize components on a robot and hold them firmly on a specific locations to make things clear for us. And that's not it. While organizing, we can quickly iterate over it and make changes as required for the specific application and 3D print it and test the results. So what is your design process for a simple mobile robot, let's say 2D SLAM application? For my DIY projects, I usually follow three step process. The first one is to bring the components and put them in one place and arrange them in a way that is feasible for the robot design. Specifically for a slam bot, so I will be placing LiDAR, then motor driver, then LiPo battery on their specific location that I think are going to be the best locations. And LiDAR should be at the top of all of these components because it is going to be rotating from the top and nothing from the robot's components or the body should be in front of it. The second step would be sketching and 3d modeling the bodies i need to hold all of these components as we have a base for this robot and then we have a lidar at certain height so we need to create something to hold the lidar with a standoff we would be needing some standoffs from the base to hold the lidar in the z axis and cad design process is going to be done in free cad the third step I will be doing is 3D printing them, joining them and making this robot perform simultaneously localization and mapping. For starters, yes, it is an overhead because now we have to think about another field. In 3D printing, we have to think about structures, how to build them, what are the properties of the material we are using and how to place the things. It is totally another field. And if it is bringing confusion, slowing you down for a project, you can directly use STEM kits. We have a solution. They provide you good sense as they provide you plug and play solutions but for those who want to be independent of the robot design available in the market especially in my case where in the market i did not have much designs available not good stem kits where i can test my algorithms and understandings that i want to build so for the kind of person like me 3d printer is a good solution for your robotic design needs learnings and teachings as well Give simplified explanation to how company design mobile robots. So in companies, there is another team who designs the robot, designs the electronic system for the robot. And the electronic system is one single PCB or custom PCBs, which are placed according to the design of the robot. The shape of the robot matters a lot in that. And some companies have experienced which have exactly the dev NVIDIA boards into their robots for raw systems, but they are on the prototype stage. But I've experienced some companies on the prototype pitching stage, they have the exact dev boards inside of their robots. In a final product, most of the companies are using custom circuit boards on their chips and the chips on them and that is completely packaged inside of the robot. So design gives you a better idea of another field as well and you can think broader while designing a robot. 